Welcome back to the Fit Aid Morning Show with Kenny and Jackie, and we have a very special guest here, the third fittest woman in the world and the newest member of Team Fit Aid, Sarah Sigmund Zotter. Great to have you here. Tell us a little backstory on your whole CrossFit experience. Well, uh, I started CrossFit January 2013, yeah, 2013, uh, made it to the regionals, but I messed up my over squat, so I got disqualified on the first day, which made me so hungry to go again, <laughs> and competed again 2014, and that's the year that they had the handsome walk that I messed up too, so 2015 was my year. <laughs> 2015 was your year. You were crushing it the whole time, and you, you were ahead of everyone else the entire time, and then what happened? I don't know. I think I just lost belief in myself, and, well, I'm pretty clumsy, so in the <laughs> in the packboard, I hit my head, so I knocked myself out, and doing parallel handstand push-ups when you're unconscious or something, <laughs> it didn't work. So concussions never get good to get in the CrossFit Games. How do you lose focus? I mean, I feel like you were sitting in pl first place, you were doing so good, and then... I just, I watched it fall apart and I was like, what happened? Yeah, then just the last day, uh, or in the sprint course, I got eight penalties, but I didn't know it until half an hour after the, the event, so it messed a little bit up with my head. I was just, started losing focus and st like started doubting that I could win this. Let's go back to this pegboard. How'd you hit your head on the pegboard? <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to imagine it. I'm like, <laughs> it's a flat wall. <laughs> so uh, I had the pegs in my head and uh, I was thinking like, okay, keep your body close to the wall, as close as you can, which was the opposite of what I should have done. And the peg got stuck and I was like trying to get it loose and then just bam, I hit my head. <laughs> peg hit you in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I mean, how, <laughs> Could you explain this to me? Because there's so many phenomenal women that come out of Iceland, like all these incredible athletes. Is there just like one compound you're all going to? I mean, how's this happen? It's in the water. Uh, yeah, it's in the water. But I we need some here. Yeah, I think it's uh, like the weather in Iceland and everything. It makes you you have to walk in snow that is on your knees to go to the gym. So like the elementaries in Iceland are like pretty harder. Then you come to the States and you get sun and you can get tan while you're training. And it's like the perfect life, so. If you walk through snow to get to the gym, you are freaking determined yeah, yeah, to yeah. go to the gym. You're doing a workout before you even get to your work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So how, I mean, I don't understand that. Everyone who comes out of that country is like these beautiful women, like these, I mean, don't take offense. It's like Amazonian women. You're all built great. You're tall, you're beautiful. Why does everybody get into CrossFit? What is it? What, what was it for you that you got into this? So uh, I saw Annie and uh, I was like, there was a little CrossFit competition in Iceland and there was, um, there were like five girls in a team and they needed one girl. I was like, yeah, I'll compete with you. Then I was like, oh, if I'm going in team, I can go individual too. And then I was in third place and I didn't even know what CrossFit was. And I was like, wow, isn't that girl? She's, uh, she was in second place at the games or something. By then I was like, okay. I'm going to try this CrossFit thing. <laughs> now, what, what's your favorite element? I mean, there are so many aspects of CrossFit. And you said you were yeah, the handstand walks weren't your thing. When did you start to develop like a passion or a love for certain certain fundamental movements? I was so bad in muscle ups. I, it took me seven months to get my first muscle ups. <laughs> yeah. So now it's my favorite movement because I worked so hard and I saw the improvement like the whole time. And I was like, okay, I love this now. So what's a day like? I mean, I've never been to Iceland, but I have a lot of friends who visit there. I mean, they say how beautiful it is. You go see the North Star and stuff. What's a day like in your life when you're not crossfitting all the time? Not crossfitting. Oh, okay, that happens. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> but I like to uh, I like to go to a mountain that's called Asia and just walk around there. It's really beautiful in Iceland, so you want to go to the nature and look at stuff, like go in a summer cabin or something like that. You, I mean, you're you're an unbelievably beautiful woman. If you weren't crossfitting, what would you be doing? Um, I was always playing a piano when I was younger and music. I played drums <laughs> and I was I was actually in a band. <laughs> really? Wait, tell us more about this. What type of band? It was just uh, like there were four guys in a band and I could go and like play with them. Wait, so you what, what instrument did you play in the band? Were you like playing the piano, you jump over to the drums? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was mostly playing drums and then I was singing a little bit. I feel like you came on the scene and everybody's talking about this Sarah Sigmund daughter. They're like, oh my God, she's so hot, she's so hot. Your Instagram following, your social media must have blew up. What was that like for you? 
like after regionals, I got 50,000 followers. And after the ECC last year, I got, I think I got around 30,000 followers. I went to the airplane, then I turned on my phone. When I came back to Iceland, it was like, okay, yeah, I've gained 30,000 followers. <laughs> well, what do you think of it? Because I know Jackie's Instagram is obviously the same way. Hers blows up. And she always, you know, we, we discuss how she gets a lot of dick pics. I mean, <laughs> have the same situation it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible like what are people thinking yeah. really <laughs> someone needs to start an instagram where we all send it to them and we call them out yeah. and we put them on there what, what's something what's something that's come from social media that's really been beneficial to for you like aside from all the following and all the love and all the support you get what's something also uh, what's something else that's beneficial i don't know it just makes you want to Push harder so you can let people know that you're still like working hard and yeah. I follow her. You follow and I, her? I, follow, I follow you too. I follow her because I like to see what what do they do? What do they eat? What, yeah, How do yeah, they yeah, get yeah. so good? Yeah. Especially in that country. I mean, like, do you guys even have Starbucks over there? No. We don't have Starbucks. You don't have Starbucks. When I came yesterday to the airport, I was like, "Where's Starbucks?" <laughs> I need my frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so now. I mean, you're always CrossFit and you say you go hang out at this mount. When you had friends, I mean, I feel like most CrossFitters don't have any downtime. You know, so if your girlfriends call you up on a Friday or Saturday night and they're like, hey, you want to go out? I mean, what are the chances of you actually being able to go and enjoy yourself? In? Well, I actually, like, I don't sleep that much. I am a really, like, I have a really hard time sleeping. So I just think, oh, I just have to take my mind off CrossFit and I'll just go out with them. Okay, I was gonna ask, what do you do for fun? I hate when people ask me this, but yeah. what do you do for fun? Wow, uh, <laughs> that's so not hard. Perfect. Yeah, it's I not CrossFit. Well, uh, I love to cook and I love okay. to eat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, what, what What would you say your your best dish? Something with a lot of meat, like red meat. Yeah, that's that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Red. Well, I think the question on everybody's mind, especially the guys in the booth, are all thinking, who who's dating Sarah Sigmundson? That, that's a big question. Uh oh. Wow. Is it someone or are you single and ready to mingle? It's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> Wait, is, complicated. is he a CrossFitter? Yes. He's got to be because who's, who else could tame you? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Guys, if you don't follow her, what's your Instagram handle? Sarah Sigmunds. Sarah Sigmunds. If you don't follow her, there's some great stuff on there. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you guys. Check us out on our next interview.